float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Life is 10% what happens to you, and 90% how you respond to it. When you internalize that the source of your satisfaction is within you, not without, you are then prepared to receive bliss that never ends, because it does not rely on the ever-changing external circumstances. We humans are unhappy in large part because we are insatiable. After working hard to get what we want, we routinely lose interest in the object of our desire. Rather than feeling satisfied, we feel a bit bored, and in response to this boredom, we go on to form new, even greater desires. A great man is always willing to be little. Whenever you see a successful person, you only see the public glories, never the private sacrifices to reach them. In three words, I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. Be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. I have no special talent. I am passionately curious.
the most important reason to live in the moment is nothing lasts forever. Enjoy the moment while it is in front of you. Be present. Accept life for what it is. A finite span of time with infinite possibilities. Barley porridge or a crust of bread and water do not make a very cheerful diet, but nothing gives one keener pleasure than the ability to derive pleasure even from that, and the feeling of having arrived at something which one cannot be deprived of by any unjust stroke of fortune. The happiness of those who want to be popular depends on others. The happy of those who seek pleasure fluctuates with moods outside their control. But the happiness of the wise grows out of their own free acts. Getting more of something has not satisfied anyone. It will not satisfy you either. It will only increase your discontent. He who has little can be content, but not the one who has a lot. The more one attains, the higher the expectations, and the greater the discontent. It is better to perform one's own predetermined duty, even if one performs that duty imperfectly, than perform the duty of another. When one performs his own predetermined duty in accordance with one's nature, one does not incur any sin. A man thus grounded, whether he wills or not, necessarily will be attended by constant cheerfulness and a joy that is deep and issues from deep within, since he finds delight in his own resources and desires no joys greater than his inner joys. All you need are these, certainty of judgment in the present moment, action for the common good in the present moment, and an attitude of gratitude in the present moment for anything that comes your way. Every man is guilty of all the good he did not do.